Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Uh, Sabella Owens here from sabellasblessingshop.com and Sabella Owens Ministries. I have um, another word for us this week from the Lord, and it's such a beautiful word. Um, this is really, oh, I love when our Papa shows, he reveals different parts of himself to us at different times. You know, when we're going through different things, for example, when we need to believe God for finances, He reveals that part to us as Jehovah Jireh, our provider. We may be going through something where we need His protection, and He reveals that He's our protector. If you're going through something where you may need healing, He reveals Himself as our healer. And so in this word, it's just a beautiful, powerful word. It actually came up when I was messaging with another person in the body of Christ and the Lord just jumped up. The Holy Spirit jumped up in me, just leaped and began to give me this word within minutes after talking to this person and began to give me this word on healing, healing of the heart. And he proceeded to go into many different words. He had me do that video last week on coming out, which I also put last week on YouTube. He had me do that on Facebook. Well, he also gave me four other, four other things. So it was the video coming out. He had me post the blog for that. Then he had me post a actual, actually a newsletter from my Fresh Fire from his throne blog, which I encourage you guys to sign up for if you want to keep up with the words and things that the Lord is giving to me. I put it all on my blog first. Uh, there's just honestly too many words to do videos on at this point. I may do more videos as he leads me, but right now... Uh, most of the stuff is always on my blog and on Facebook, so I encourage you. I know some of you have asked about that, and, and I, I, I'm doing this as ministry and really want to be able to reach you and, and reach as many people as possible. It's, it's really, it's impossible for me to be able to minister to each individual person as an individual, but praise God with the technology today used for the kingdom, we are able, those of us called into ministry, to build you up. And in Jesus Christ, we're able to use this technology to try to reach people. And so I encourage you to please share and, and encourage, not because uh, I'm looking for numbers per se, but because I'm looking for people to be touched by Jesus and every person matters. And so in that, that is where sharing happen, uh, helps. That's where the technology helps. That's where, you know, the Lord had many words prophesied over me of, of to the nations. And so I asked the Lord one day, because I said, Lord, are you trying to tell me I'm going to travel? You're going to have me travel the nations? And I wasn't quite sure how I felt about that. Come on now, so, someone someone hear me. I'm just keeping it real. And so I was having a conversation with the Lord about it, and he, he showed me, actually, when he had me start to step out online with my blog and then do the, doing these videos and other things on social media, and he brought back to my memory several prophetic words that had been spoken over me uh, to the nations. And he said, see, he said, this is one way he said, I'm not saying you're not going to travel, daughter, but this is one way that I can reach people and reach the nations. And lo and behold, hallelujah, when when uh, we do these videos or when I do these videos, when I go on to Facebook Live and I'm interacting with all of you and different people from around the world, it is nations. And so that that word is just starting to come to pass. I used to do a prayer uh, international prayer line as well years ago, which also uh, was doing that. So anyway, let's get right into this. This is a beautiful word. It is a healing word. It is a word from our, oh, our Abba Father, our Papa God, our Daddy, Abba Daddy, um, that he has the key to our heart. This is going to be a precious word to you. There's such an anointing on this word. Even when I wrote this word out, just tears came up uh, of just cleansing tears, not only for me myself, because 
you know, the blessing of when the Lord uses you in this way is that you, you do, you receive it first. That's true with correction too, by the way, and teaching and all of that. Uh, so rest assured, anything that the Lord speaks through me, even in teaching by the Spirit, I've, I've also had to learn. Uh, and that's how he can use us. Amen. He can use us when we've gone through things. He can use us in those areas. We can get authority and anointing in those areas in special ways because we've walked through these areas and receive victory by his grace. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Okay, so let's get right into this. Uh, I'm going to do a prayer uh, right away here as I like to do. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just come before you right now. Lord, I come before you. I submit myself to you. I submit my heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit, my mouth, my voice. I submit it to you, Lord. Oh, for you to speak through me the way that you want, even the mannerisms, even the tone. Oh, Lord, that it would be you and your anointing, Lord. I thank you for this beautiful word that you have given for your bride of Christ. Your, this beautiful word that you have given for people, Lord, that are hurting, that need to know how much you love them and all oh, that you have the key to their heart. So, Father, cover us in your love. Cover us in your blood. I pray for every heart to be open and to receive this word whenever they hear it and under the sound of my boy, voice. I speak blessings upon them, and thank you, Father. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, okay, so let's get into it here. I have my iPad here with me so that I'm reading off my blog. The name of this is, I have the key to your heart. And this is, of course, our Abba, our Abba Papa, our Father, our Daddy. It says when we have in the Bible, it talks about the spirit of sonship by which we cry, Abba, Abba. Do you know that that's one of the only words in the Holy Bible which the Holy Spirit did not have translated into English or another language, Abba? If you go to Israel today and you go to the playgrounds and you hear kids running around and they're calling for their daddy, they're saying, Abba, 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 little kids. They're saying, Daddy, Papa, Daddy. It's the most intimate term. The most intimate term. It's not, Oh, Father, I come before you, thee, thou, though. <laughs> no, no, no. It, that's religion. Oh, catch this now. This is beautiful. Abba, the spirit of sonship by which we cry, like Jesus, Abba. Abba, Abba Daddy, Abba Papa, whatever the most endearing, intimate term is that you would use for your father. Now, it may be father. Some people may use father as the most intimate term. But a lot of people, especially in America, will say dad or daddy. People sometimes say papa as well. And that's why you'll hear me speak to the Lord and speak about the Lord in that way. Oh, and, it, and it's not disrespectful. Oh, if you think it's disrespectful, you, you it, it really reveals you don't have revelation of that spirit of sonship. And the good news is that you can ask for that. I pray that you receive that today as you listen to this video in the name of Jesus. And, and you likely have maybe a religious spirit or have been around religion or have heard teachings that make you feel as though you're being disrespectful. No, actually, you're honoring the Lord when you refer to your Father, your Heavenly Father, in the most intimate term. Because that's what the Bible says. We've not received a spirit of fear again to bondage. Bondage to what? Bondage to the law of Moses of religion. That's what that's referring to. Bondage. Where you're fearful. You're afraid to approach God. You're afraid. That's religion. Oh, praise be to God that he, our Abba Daddy, so loved us. He sent his son Jesus and tore the veil through the cross of Jesus Christ and through his finished work on the cross. We're able to come boldly. That's why the Bible says we can come boldly to his throne room of grace. Oh, boldly. Oh, we wouldn't be able to come boldly if we were still under the Mosaic law and caught in religion. 
And so let that set you free today. We cry out, Abba, Abba Daddy, our Papa, most intimate term. And that's what Jesus came to reveal. He came to reveal the heart of the Father, the heart of our Abba. And so think about it from that perspective today while you're listening to this word. Papa says to you now, I have the key to your heart. The key to the deepest places within you. I have the key to their innermost places that you don't allow anyone access to. The places of hurt, of betrayal, and unspeakable rage. The places of horror, torture, and anguish. The places of doubt, hopelessness, and mistrust. I have the key into your past memories, traumas, and abuse. The areas that you have locked up so tight like a fortress, where there are thick bars and miles long steel walls so that no one can get close again. The places where you have erected countless walls around the chambers of your heart, praying that somehow, in some way, this would make the torment hopelessness and loneliness you feel somehow disappear. That the agony would drown into nothingness if you just bury it deep enough. And yet, I am he who has created you in my pure love. I am the one who knit your beautiful heart together tenderly and with excitement thinking of all the joy I have planned for you. The chambers I designed myself, each intricate part masterfully measured and put into place. Each innermost area that you have locked away, I designed, says the Lord. I know intimately the hidden places where you have locked away painful things, even unspeakable things. Those places that have seeped into your bones and blood, much like poison because you have locked up your heart so tight that there is nowhere for the pain to go. It needs to come out, says your papa. Oh, it needs to be released. It is out of the heart that the mouth speaks, out of the mouth that the heart ventilates. It is time, my precious child. You have places in you that are screaming out to me continually inside, says the Lord. Places in which your agony is so overwhelming that you cannot face it alone. And you weren't meant to. It is time to let me use my key. It is time for you, my child, to allow me to come and unlock these areas that I may come and heal you. I will not overtake you. I will not force myself upon you. I will not. For that is not my character. I am asking for your permission to use the key that only I have, says the Lord. Beloved child, I am the solution. I am who you need. I am the hope. I am the answer. I am the healing. I am the peace that you so long for. I am the companionship. I am the lover of your soul. I am the security. I am the tenderness. I am the one who will soothe you and rock you in my arms 
until you can calm down and rest. I am the only one who can do this for you. I have been waiting for so long to heal you. I desire it more than you do. I have the key, but I need you to say, yes, Papa, you can unlock it now. Even if that is just the first step, me unlocking it. Until we take the next step to you letting me open the door to these chambers of your heart until finally we go in to your innermost chambers together and you can see that you are safe now because I am here and you have finally let me in. Ooh, I can feel that up in my spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, that's the compassion of the Lord coming up right now that you're, that you're seeing. That's the compassion he has for you. It's love. It's the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Oh, he wants to heal you today. He wants to heal you. Notice that he will not overtake you. Oh, he won't overtake you because God is not like that. Oh, our Papa, our Lord is not a dictator. It's the enemy that overtakes. God won't. He needs your permission. Notice here, he is the one that has the key. And even with the key to unlock the door of your heart, he won't unlock it. He's not going to break it down. He's not going to force his entry. He's not going to break in like a thief. John 10.10. 10. No, he's not. He needs your permission. So, beloved, I'm asking you today, will you allow him to come in? I want to encourage you today. Again, just like the last video, I want you to put comments below and speak it out your mouth and know that I will stand in agreement with you to receive healing. I will stand in agreement with you, but you need to choose. You need to say what he said here. Papa, okay, I give you permission to come in. You use the key that only you have from my heart personally. I give you permission for you to come in and heal me. Oh, beloved, you need to say it. You need to say it. You need to say it out loud. Say it in the comments below. I'll stand in agreement with you, but you need to say it because he won't overtake you. Praise God. Let's pray. Oh, Father, I can just, I can feel such an anointing on this word of deliverance, of healing for your people. Oh, I thank you so much, Father. I pray right now for every heart, every person under the sound of my voice, for their heart to be healed, for them to have a willing heart, for them to Oh, just look fear in the face and tell it to go in the mighty name of Jesus because it's your perfect love and this is your perfect love that casts out that fear that you may enter in. Oh, I pray that every heart be touched and healed by you, that they would be willing, each person would be willing for you to bring your healing in, to open the door, to go into every chamber. Oh, Father, we pray that you would heal our hearts. We pray that you would come in. Oh, we say yes, Lord. We say yes, Lord. We say yes, Abba Daddy. Oh, our Papa, we say yes. You have the key. Only you have the key, and we let you come in. We say yes, Lord. Yes, Daddy, come in and heal our hearts. Heal every area. Heal my heart, Lord. Heal our hearts. Oh, heal all our hearts, Father. Come into every chamber and pour in your love and grace. Pour in in your healing. Oh, Lord God, pour it in as only you can.